Okay. So a question that I get asked relatively frequently is, which plane is better, the Pitts or the Chris and Eagle? It's kind of a complicated question. Thank you, too. Like that helmet. I have a traffic, Eagle 5 Delta Tango, depart runway 23, left cross and departure, I'm in. So, the Chris and Eagle and the Pitts are two totally different airplanes. The real question you have to ask is, what are your goals? What are you trying to do with the airplane? So if you're if you're just looking for a well-built aerobatic biplane that you can go out do loops and rolls and feel comfortable in and you know it flies nice, I feel like the Chris Eagle's the airplane. I mean this airplane, after you know a couple re-rigs, I mean this thing flies hands off. This thing is phenomenal. It'll track dead straight, beautiful. Now I know you can do that with the pits and everything, um, but overall this airplane just feels good. Now, if you want a little bit more, you want a little bit more capability, the Pitts is a phenomenal airplane. The S1S, everything you tell it to do, it does. I think you're able to compete at a much higher level if you're into competitions in the S1 than you are in the Chris and Eagle. The Chris and Eagle, the extra weight and stuff, tends to uh, hurt it when you're trying to get the when you're trying to get that extra performance. But today, today we're going to put it to the test. Today, my buddy Art is out flying his Pitts S2A. I'm heading over to his practice area. And we are going to see which plane is better. Hey, Alex, yes? Yes, sir. Are you alone? I am alone, so kind of an unfair advantage today. All right, joining on you. It works out perfect. I got my uh, 360 camera out on the wing right here, so I get a get a couple good photos of you. Hey, buddy. Dave and I have gotten uh, fly a lot lately. We've been doing a ton of practice. Yeah, you're looking great. What a beautiful day to fly, huh? Oh, I know. We lucked out. Yesterday was miserable. It got up to about 55 uh, miles an hour out at Hemet. I'm gonna give you the lead, Alex. Okay. left and we'll be eastbound we'll climb up to 5,000 and then we'll start sound good okay, sure. the place left. Eastbound. all right here we go uh, I've watched top gun 20 times now so I'm ready for this I'm feeling good I, I talked to Dave this morning I was like all right what does art normally do I'm gonna I'm gonna try and just combat him and I knew you'd have a student so it'd be a little bit unfair but I'll, uh, I'll pull back a little bit of power all right I'm ready that's good all right, set left. Visual. All right, left, left, fight on. Oh, the pits, he's going low, I'm not going too high. He's using a lot of rudder, he's trying to turn it down! Oh, I'm in the control zone. Alright, pippers on. Drag it, drag it, drag it, drag it. Good fight, alright, let's climb over again and do it again. Oh, it's good, man. I got you, so let's do one more of those kind of uh, mellow, a little bit of vertical, and then I'm like, uh, let's like rip and do this one, okay? All right, sounds good. I am pulling my RPMs back to 2,300 RPM. Let's see what you got. Wait, man. Thanks, buddy. All right, I'm at a huge disadvantage here. All right, fight on. I got to use my turn into my advantage. Canopy to canopy, man. Oh, I just hit your wake. Hey, we're getting on you now. It's happening. <laughs> yeah, you had me in the control zone the whole time, man. I was living in the buffet. Good fight. Thanks, man. I'm gonna 
try to get uh, a few hundred feet on you, Alex, if that's okay. Sounds good. I think that's fair. I'll level off at uh, 4,700. Perfect. I'm going to climb up to 552. Five, Perfect. Sounds good to me. All right, I got a visual. Left, left. All right, he's got a slight height advantage on me. He's going to stay high. I'm diving. Diving. Visual. Left, left, fight side. All right, he's got the height advantage. We're just going to keep our nose on him. Visual, continue. Okay. For Zahn, tracking, 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 tracking. Oh, that didn't last long. <laughs> Good fight, man. That was Dave's method. I just, I knew I had an adva or a disadvantage, so I just pitched up. When you kicked the direction, just all rudder into you. The old snap roll into position. You want to uh, do a little more formation? Yeah, sounds good. You can have the lead. Just continue southbound. I'll come join. Okay, cool, man. All right, sweet. If you give me about 115, I'll do a little inverted formation on you. Oh, sweet. 115? Yeah, 115 would be perfect. They're rolling in. Go in. You're awesome, Alex. Dave and I added a bunch of inverted stuff to our formation, so we've been getting a ton of practice, so this helps. Oh, good. I'm glad I can help you out with practice, right? Eh? Exactly. Nice job, man. Looking good, Art. Thanks, brother. I need to come out and play with you guys more. You know, I, I'm so busy instructing out here, I gotta spend more time playing, I think. I agree, man. You're more than welcome to join us anytime we're out there. You wanna practice a little more inverted form off me, Alex? Sure, I'll come up on you again. I got you in sight. Alright, sweet. Here we go. Rolling in. Go for it, man. Looking great, Alex. Fucking solid, dude. I mean, I mean, this has got to be harder than even flying an F-18 upside down. It's definitely a little tricky. Yeah, man, it's, just, it's crazy. You guys, you must be doing this a lot to be that steady this close upside down. Yeah, we've been practicing nonstop. All right, breaking off. Cool. Beautiful. Alright, cool man, I think we're uh, just about done for the day. Um, thanks for the fun, Alex. You're welcome, Art. You guys uh, have fun and enjoy the rest of your flight. Alright, brother. Take care. Alright, see you guys. Today was kind of an unfair fight. He had a student. Whenever you have a student, you never want to, you know, be, make them uncomfortable or anything, so I understand that. And, uh... Plus the added weight in his airplane. So, it was fun. It was cool kind of pulling back power trying to fight. It's not realistic, but if I go out and fight Dave, he spanks me every time, so. Let's head home. Have a traffic. Come on, biplane. Clear three, heaven. All right, if I wanted an airplane to compete in and have fun just myself, go out and do what Dave and I do or straight competition, the S1 is definitely the plane. It fits my mission. The Chris and Eagle, I think, is a far better built airplane. The increased visibility, the overall feel of the airplane feels better. It's comfortable. You know, it's good for everything from, you know, cross country to just going up and doing gentleman aerobatics. You can throw it around. I mean, I throw this thing around and have never had any issues. I think you just have to define your mission. Define what you want to do. The Chris and Eagle is an awesome airplane. I'll always back it. I would pick a Chris and Eagle over an S2 any day. And I'm biased. I got 
hundreds of hours in the Chris and Eagle, so obviously I'm biased. Some people are gonna argue with me and say whatever, but I love the Chris and Eagle. For competition and the air show stuff, all about the pits. If I just had one airplane and I had to pick between an S2 and a Chris and Eagle, I'd pick the Chris and Eagle.